Today, as never before, there are opportunities for rebuilding the world according to the divine plan of things. We are confronted with many problems, but all these grant us opportunities in the form of challenges. The church is looking today to Christian homes as the cradles where young hearts may be schooled in the knowledge of God in order that they may renew the face of the earth. It is not so much the gifts of God to which we look, for these are always present, as God is all bountiful and good. It is the use of these gifts that counts. The proper use of these gifts rests with the servants of God. To use well the gifts of God, some shall have to respond to the call to the religious life. Other sons and daughters shall have to meet the challenge of a pagan world and go forth as Christian parents to replenish the earth with new love and life and grace. The surest way to enjoy the gifts of God is to place them at His feet and to give them back to Him and to our neighbors in humble acknowledgement of the fact that we are but custodians of God's treasures. Giving away the gifts of God in fulfillment of the purpose of life is what the mother and father do as they bring life to the world and consecrate their own selves to fashioning more and more God's image in the souls of those entrusted to their care. Giving away the gifts of God is what the priest, the religious do as they devote their talents to the glory of God and the service of men and bring to souls communion with the life of God. Today, as perhaps never before, we have opportunities to dedicate ourselves to the rebuilding of a new world of the Spirit. God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, hear our prayer, we beseech you, and grant to your servants that peace of mind and concord of soul that, using well your gifts and graces, we may be found worthy in your sight of everlasting reward. You, who live and reign with the Father and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.